Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build a pen and then how to convert that pen into a paddock and then into an animal house and get all sorts of hearts in the process. To make building a little bit quicker and easier, I like to first place down the corner blocks to frame the build. I find placing every block individually can become tedious. If you initially just place down the corner blocks of the build, you can then use the first person view to efficiently fill in the build, in this case, a pen. The pen is not actually listed in your Builderpedia, but it is a viable building area and it will display in your room once you've completely um, closed it in fencing, added a wooden gate, and have at least one wheat grass grow in it. And a proper pen just doesn't look right without grass covering its area, so in order to get this thing green and lush, we're going to get Wrigley to come in and do its work by putting down some worm food. Worm food has a few little quirks of its own in how it's used. When it's placed, it will add grass to the dirt and arable areas that are on the same level as it and below it, but not above it. So if you want to get those hills, you should place your worm food on the highest positions. Next we'll have to head to Blossom Bay, one of the Explorer Islands, in order to pick up some wheat seeds. There are wheat seeds all over Blossom Bay, they're not too difficult to find, so just pop on over here and pick some up. In order to make a paddock, we will need five wheatgrass seeds. Once you have your five wheatgrass seeds, you can head back and plant them into your pen. They do not require farm soil, they can just be planted directly into the grass. Now, once the first one of these wheatgrass seeds grows, it will take this room and convert it into a pen. It should only take the grass seeds about a minute or two and they'll sprout and we can move on. As you can see, the room now registers as a pen and we can move on into converting it into a paddock. The paddock requires five grown wheatgrass, a wooden gate, and a haystack. Now we'll just let everybody come in and show us their appreciation with hearts before we move on and make this very quickly into an animal house. Having an animal house allows your farm animals and your dogs and critters to hang out in it and makes collecting eggs and keeping track of them a heck of a lot easier. We can now change the paddock back into a pen by removing one of the wheat grasses. I'm going to replant some wheatgrass, although it is not required for the animal house. The animal house requires pet bedding, a pet bowl, and the haystack. By constructing this animal house in this order, you will receive gratification from your villagers twice. Just look at all those happy little villagers. Thanks for watching my pen to paddock to animal house video. If you found this video informative and helpful and would like to see more builds and room types, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.